Hi everyone. So today's video guys is about uh, I'm sorry. You know, so today's video guys is about SNM SNMP protocol. I always have like typos, very typos typos when spelling the, the, the word SNMP. Simple network management protocol. So maybe we haven't talked about this, you know, protocol in terms or, or the aspect the security aspects of this protocol before. The guys simply said the simple network management protocol, you know, it's kind of protocol that uses port 161 and 162 for network device management. So for example, you know, you have we have switches, we have routers, we have network devices, servers, hosts. All of these devices, guys, use S simple network management protocol to exchange network information. Specifically, guys, it works in a fashion. And I want to explain to you how the before before we dig into how this protocol or how can we how we can um, do an information gathering or do you know penetration testing with this protocol. I want to show you guys. Uh, one of the ways, uh, sorry, I want to show you how the protocol works. Okay, allow me first to grab the image I have and paste it in my, so I put this here. Okay, so as you can see, guys, simple network management protocol works like this. You have a manager and you have agents, or as you can see, agent one, two, three, four, five. So in real case scenarios or in a practical scenario, guys, the manager could be a network device like router, could be a firewall, could be intrusion prevention system, could be a server. And, you know, the agents could be computer devices, computer network, uh, sorry, computer devices, hosts, um, could be, you know, servers and clients, whatever. So the manager exit changes network information with the agents through something called master agents or sorry so, so through the uh, computer devices through the agents so the agents uh, as you can see for example agent one is uh, on, on the computer number one for example uh, sends information about the network state to the manager and the manager stores this information in something called management information basis so you know Simple network management protocol, guys, is part of the internet protocol suite that is designed to manage computers and network devices. So simply, simply said, guys, the management data exposed by the agents from here, okay, on each of the managed machines is stored on a hierarchical database called management information basis. So it is the information, guys, that is stored within the management information base that we are trying to uh, enumerate. Okay, so the management information base stores this information about the network state, the network devices, the, you know, everything about the network. It is stored in this database. So, and database, guys, grows and in size and, you know, uh, it's, how can I say this? So, the management information base, guys, you know, grows in size and stores information about the network as the devices, or as the manager and its agents, exchange the network information. So, in our uh, security lesson today, we're going to be seeking ways to, you know, do open source intelligence or let's say network enumeration about the management information base, guys. So this management information basis contains a vast array of information on every device on the network, including users, softwares, and installed OSs, open ports. All of this information can be, you know, invaluable when you want to develop a blueprint about your targets during the information gathering stage. So uh, it's worth saying that simple network management protocol has three versions, one, two, and three. So the first SNP network management protocol version one uses, I mean, it's kind of uh, exchanges the network information in a clear text, you know. So everything between the manager and the agents is exchanged in a clear text. That's the drawback of SNMB version one. So everything is exposed to a man-in-the-middle attacker. 
Also, SNB version 2 has compatibility issues. So the most secure one is SNB version 3, which is mostly recommended if you are a network administrator who manages network devices. Use SNB version 3. Okay, guys. So now we're going to run our, uh, let's say, attack. Let's say information gathering, okay, on could be a router or could be a device, a network device that uses this protocol, okay? So in the previous lesson, guys, we use children to explore multiple ways to explore network devices around the world. We're going to use that today to grab a device, network device that's running SNMP version 1, 2, 3, doesn't matter, and we're trying to scan it, as you can see here, to see what kind of information we can have. Clear? Okay, so I'm gonna switch the view now to sudden. So, yep, okay. So, guys, here I have a network device, specifically a router. So, one of the filter I used is port, and I, I wrote 161 just to retrieve results about all possible network devices running on port 161 or users ports 161. So I was presented with this information here or search results. So all of these IPs and represents network devices that runs port 6161 or has the port 161 open. So let's just see here, this one. So this IP represents, you know, kind of the network device, specifically uh, Microtech, bandwidth test server. And one of the ports is 161 on the protocol SNMP. So let's scan that and see what are what's what are the network information that we can grab from scanning this. This also highly depends on the version. So if you're scanning version 1 and version 2, you may have luck. But if you're scanning version 3 or if the network device uses version 3, it's not going to be certain that you will grab too much information. So the command we will be using is snmb check, and we type the host. And worth mentioning, guys, you can specify the version. I advise you to start with version 1. If you couldn't get results, escalate up to version 2. Why version 1? Why we start with version 1? Because, you know, the, the, the information exchange between the network device and its host is done in clear text, including the community string. The community string is kind of, you know, a way of exchanging the information between the host and the manager uh, to unlock the information used, the information stored in the management information base. So if we guess the community string, we can, you know, unlock everything in the information base. That's why we start with version 1. If we start with version 1 and we get information, we may try to crack the community string and get more information. So we start like this, and as you can see here, try to connect to the IP and with SNMP version 1 and community string public. Oh, so I didn't switch the view. Oh, I hate this. Okay, wait. I'm, I, I, I think you can see now. So here's the command I use to explore information about network information about this. I specified the version for the SNMP to be 1. And I run my test. Now it seems that the target network device, in our case, is Microtech, um, doesn't use SNMP version 1. And you can see it takes too much time. So I'm going to control C and switch to version 2C, which is the second version. So let's see here. Uh, uh, note, guys, the, this tool, SNMP check, works on SNMP version 1 and SNMP version 2. See, you cannot scan network devices running on SNMP version 3. That's why I recommend network managers and administrators to use SNMP version 3 for all of their communications or for all the network devices they are managing. So I think I, I can, there's no luck. Let me try another one. So this guy, this guy is running port 161. So let me try. Let me know my luck. It's you see, it represents industrial control system, a SCADA system. 
So let's cancel that. SLMP check. The IP is like that. And version, let it be two. Ah, okay, sorry. Two C. Let's go back. I scanned the first one and it worked for me. If the current one I'm using, or the current one we're scanning right now fails, we're gonna switch to that one. So it says SNMP request timeout. Let's try the version one. Maybe the admins are stupid and they still use version one. All right, I'm not patient. Okay, so let's remove that and put this one that worked. No. Okay, minus version to C. I suppose this will work because I tried this. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's explore every single bit of information we have over here. The first, this is the host IP address, you know, the IP address of the network device, and it is router. Okay, description. Now you can see, uh, I'm gonna walk you through the important information. So it says IP forwarding enabled, which means that the router has, you know, a host inside the network that has an exposed port to the internet. Now, second, Network interfaces, interface, MAC address of the interface that's up and export to the internet. And you have uh, another interface, as you can see, which is also exposed. I have third interface, fourth interface. These information are very useful, guys, to create a map about your targets. Look. Now, network IP. So as you can see here, let's go back. Target IP is um, ends with 23, this one. And I suppose this is another target IP, or seems to be, um, these are the internal IP addresses, guys. And here, the routing table. Jesus Christ, too much, too much. So here you see the routing table, and if the, if the internal hosts, guys, Queries one of these IPs is gonna you know put the next hub as these IPs for for routing information. You know if you have learned Cisco, you're gonna understand this. Storage information. Let's see here. Oh. Five systems, and here five system information, device information. Now, what's interesting, guys? Sometimes. Beside this information, you would get information about users. And in this case, we couldn't get information about the users. Information about users, guys, are very useful in order to facilitate and enhance our chances uh, to succeed in brute force attack. You see? So every step, guys, in your enumeration is closely connected. You use Shodan. You use the filters, you use enumeration, you use, then you step into password cracking, Hydra, then you explore information about the, the software installed. Yeah, I couldn't get much information about the software installed. Yeah. So, it's a very useful tool. Now, the next one is, I'm not going to use it now, but I'm going to tell you the purpose of it, which is Swax. No, it's not what Swax. Uh, there's a tool called 161. Yeah. So, guys, you see, you get this information, right? But there is a hanging fruit I didn't tell you about, which is the community string. If you guess the community string, which is the piece of information that's exchanged between the host and the manager in the SNMP communication, you will be able to grab more information about the target. You may be able to grab this user, the software used. Now to guess the community string, guys, you need to use a tool like this one, 161. 161 works like password cracker, but in, in our case, it cracks the SNMP community strings. If you guess the community strings, you're gonna go back 
and rerun your uh, scan but in this case here you will see you will say sorry I'm gonna go up uh, Now we will use minus T option to specify the community string. So this is my target. I specify the community string that I guessed from 161 tool. Let's say it's kind of private. If this was the correct community string, it's going to reveal more information in the management information base, guys. All right. I hope this lesson is somewhat helpful. And see you in the next video.